and welcome back to the channel everybody it's good to see you back for another video today we got a big old basket full of die cast vehicles and when I say pounds I mean pounds I don't know if you can hear that but I'll give you a little preview this whole bin is just full of die cast so I'm eager to get into it let's so make sure we got you set up good you can see everything on the table here Make sure we don't knock any green light trucks off. There should be some old and some new in here. A mixture of all sorts of stuff. First off, we got a couple of little ramps. So we'll have those set up for a cool little scene or something. They're not 100% even, but it'll work. First vehicle is a Hot Wheels. And this just says Baja. It's a Baja van. I think it's an older casting. It says 77 on the bottom, but I know this one is not that old. I really like this one. And uh, bringing it into my apartment here, I actually dropped it on the parking lot outside and scuffed it a little bit. Not a big deal. There wasn't too much damage inflicted. Next one is a matchbox. And this one is some sort of van, it looks like. It's a Chevy Transport. Pretty cool looking. Seems like it's heavy, it might be a good rolling vehicle. What else do we have in here? Looks like we have a Nissan Z from the looks of it, a matchbox. Nissan Z. Crazy looking red interior and windows. Kind of an older one, I think 2003 is so in the bottom. It's probably from the 2000s at some point, obviously. Here we have a Hot Wheels. This one's called Jaded. Nice drag car. Pretty cool looking. What's it got on top there? Is that a wolf? Can't really tell. Is it something up there? What else do we have in here? It's another Hot Wheels. This is that weird looking snake casting. I'm not sure what this vehicle is called, but I do have some older variations of this. Now that I think about it, I haven't seen them in a while. I'm kind of wondering where those are. I had a bunch of old ones that I remember as a kid. I used to go, oh man, the year says this in the bottom. And they were actually probably just from the 80s, the 70s or something. What's this one? A Rock Shocker. Am I saying that right? Yes. Matchbox. I like this one a lot. I have a few of these as well. Let's see if we can get them going up the ramp. Nice. It's going to keep rolling back down. And we have an off brand. It says China. This one's not quite to 164 scale. I think it'd be a little bit smaller. Let's see if I can find. Oh, this little vehicle here. What is this made by? Welly? It says it's a 82 VW Classic Bus. Check out that little guy. Maybe it'd be a little bit to scale with that. Try to get that put down a little bit more. Not that much. <laughs> this is a pullback. So that's pretty cool. It works sometimes. Just did for us the first time. There it goes. Cool little thing. Little thrift store find. What else? This is definitely going to have to be a two-part video because of how many is in here. We have another matchbox. This one is a rescue crane. Bringing it in, putting that up, and the crane extends. And it pivots. Nice heavy piece. Fold it back down, pull it off to the side. And we have another Hot Wheels. This one's the Audacious, if I remember it correctly. Yep. Audacious. A cool little hatchback. Probably a quick little car. I'm going to have to do a fantasy casting racing. Race. Litter and junk on the table once more. Yeah, I don't really collect fantasy cars, but a lot of these are from my childhood. I know this one is. Power Pipes. This one came out in 98, I think. It was the 98 first edition. 99, something like that. 
Check it out. I like the orange wheels a lot. Orange base. This one's a little bit of an older one. It's got ultra hots on it. And now, unfortunately, one of the side pipes is broken off, but you get a clear look that it was red before it was painted chrome like that. So that's kind of cool, I guess. I forget the name of this casting. I should remember it, but... It does say 87 on the bottom, but I think it's from the early 90s. Don't quote me on that, because I really don't remember. It could be from the 80s at some point, but with the Ultra Hots on there, it's definitely older, so... I do know that. And I've got two variations of this vehicle. The XS IVE. XS IVE? Not sure how you'd say that. But here is a blue and a red one. Pretty cool, huh? And these do twist, which is crazy. I'm not too sure why they do that, but it's a cool little feature. I've got a big jet engine thing in there. So those are cool. I've got two different ones of those. Next, we have another matchbox. This is a Ridge Raider. I think I have two of these. There should be another one in here. I'm trying to keep it together, show my variations at the same time, but that's all right. We'll find them in there eventually. There's the Ridge Raider. Check this thing out. Before I skip over it again, I gotta show you this. This one is called the Wingstorm. And this is a big old hauler. And inside there, I don't think this is the car that came with it, but it just matched the color, so I put it in there. This one is called Horseplay. So you can see it kind of matches the green. You put your car in there that fits in there anyway and close it up. Check that out. Very shiny. And this is all metal, too. The base is metal and the top is plastic, obviously, but it's very heavy. Crazy looking thing. Put him back here. And up next we have another Matchbox, a Desert Thunder V16. Love the orange color on this. A little shock so you can move it back and forth. One of those big old trucks. Got some cool details on it. I like that one. What else do we have in here? This one's very cool. Another Matchbox utility truck. 2006 it says. Check it out. It's in great shape too. Good roller. Seems to be a water tanker. Yep, water tanker. Very nice. And this next one, not in the best of shape. Same thing. Uh, utility truck 2006. Boy, is this a piece for the junkyard. Look at the tire stance. <laughs> Definitely uh, had some neglect. It's got crud all over it. It looks like this part's actually bent down. Junkyard piece. Kind of a shame because it's in a cool color scheme, too. Here we have another Matchbox. This is a newer one, I think. I can barely read because it's in white on the base. Seagrave Fire Engine Classic. I think I'm saying that right. This might have been a 9-pack vehicle. 5-pack vehicle. I really don't remember which this came out in. Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection would know. <laughs> Vast Matchbox Car knowledge. Well, speaking of, I see some things that you would like. Tyrone. A couple of transits. We have... Shady Branch Tree Surgeon, licensed and insured, free estimates. Two of those. And the other one, Water and Power. Pretty cool. This one's got a little bit of crud on the bottom, but this one's 95. And this one says 2006. So obviously this one's a little older, probably not from the 90s, maybe early 2000s. I don't know how the stamping really works at the base. It's usually a few years apart from what it says. Oh, what else do we have in here? 
of a Maisto car, a Volkswagen Jetta. Pretty plain looking little car. It's cool though. Nice for a little diorama scene. There's another audacious. I should have grabbed this one up. Couldn't find him in the bin when I was looking at the other one. There's those two though. Pretty cool. And here's one of the older ones that I was mentioning that I knew I had. A oh man, I can barely read because it's kind of cruddy looking on the bottom here. Not sure. Can you make that out, you guys? It says it right there. Almost looks like it says Mind Shot Auto Auto. Something like that. But it's in pretty bad shape. But it's still cool looking, so it's got that. It's probably from the early 2000s. So not really older, just a little bit, about 20 some years old now, 21 years old if it's from 2000. Crazy. Time has flown by. And here we have a Dune It Up. I know this one from looking at it. That was a thrift store find. Found that one recently. And a Made in China. This one looks to be Firebird or something like that. I don't know. I don't think it's a Camaro. Check it out. It's got good shocks on it though, probably. And these little off-brand cars, you can bounce them around and they're very cool. Put him aside. Table is piling up. We haven't hardly made a dent on this yet. And one from 2000. This one is called the Hooligan. Check that out. Cool little rod. Gonna have to push all these cars aside so we can fit some more on the table here. If there's any specific ones you'd like to look at again, let me know and I'll definitely showcase them again. Here's a new one, the Sonora Shredder. I think I have two of those. That's probably my other one. Nice truck. And what is this? A Maisto. A pipe truck. I remember this one had little pipes that ran through there. and Of course, I lost those as a kid. That was bound to happen, though. Anything removable. And here is a Hot Wheels, a Drifta. It's the Mystery Models Drifta. Drifta. Try to say that correctly. Green and pink. Pretty interesting color combination. And this next one, GT Hunter, another Hot Wheels. I'm not sure if this was a Mystery Model or not. I kind of feel like it was. Just don't remember. Crazy looking though. Things sticking out of the top there. And here's a cool little. This one has it says Stomper Patton. Uh, Minneapolis, I believe that's what it says. Yep, Minneapolis, made in Vancouver. So the Stomper truck. So this was probably an old school monster truck. Crazy suspension on there. Let's get that ramp over here and see if we can get it to do anything. It's crazy. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's got some crazy bounce to it. Very cool. Found that one at a thrift store too, if I remember correctly. That's where a lot of my stuff comes from, other than the stuff I had as a kid. Like these next two pieces, I've had these since I was a kid. A 64 Chevy Impala, that's part of the Tune series, I'm sure. Check this out. Rusted out. And I know I played with this one a lot in water. <laughs> I think I have two of these. Man, this one's just rusted. Needs a wheel swap or something. And this next one, it's got a stamp Malaysia base. I know I've had this one for quite a while too. Very rusty as well. See the base right there is stamped. It says 83, so it was definitely after the Hong Kong era. Rusty axles. But look how cool that is, though. All metal. I've really always liked that one a lot. Remember that one very well. Oh, here's a newer version of that. Dragon vehicle. It's 
crazy they brought that one back. It says 2013 on it, I think. 1987, 2012 it says on it, so 87 must have been the, uh, the copyright for this specific casting. Hope I'm not boring all you guys. I'm glad you're still around if you are. We're about 15 minutes in, 15 and a half minutes. Lots of die cast to go. This one's called the Mono Posto. Pasto. Mono Posto. Very cool. Crazy looking little fantasy car. Seems like it's kind of play worn on the tires. They look a little weird. And here's another matchbox. This one is a cement mixer. Very cool. You can see that goes around and around. Mix up the cement. What does it say on there? 22. It's in pretty good shape. Compared to our uh, crane truck over here, you can see the difference in the tires and the rims. Look at that back rim. Wow. <laughs> Lots of difference there. Here's another Hot Wheel. This is a Poison Arrow. You can see I uh, must have broke off one of the propellers on there. It's a bit unfortunate. This one seems real heavy though. No real way to race that though. Here's another cool one, another Hot Wheels. Buick Grand National. I think this had an opening hood and it's missing. I like that one a lot though. It has some character to it. Might have to go put that over in my old school scene down on the floor over there and put that in an upcoming race. That'd be cool. Put it over my little performance shop. This one would have been a cement mixer too, but it's uh, in pretty poor shape. See, it's missing the cement mixer and it looks like it's been smashed by something. This is all metal. Very heavy. And look at that. It's been cracked right down the middle. Could probably just bend it in half if I really wanted to. <laughs> Back tires are all seized up. That one, unfortunately, got subjected to some hard punishment. Here's another one of those McDonald's cars. 1999 Hot Wheels manufactured from McDonald's. I think I've showed you this one before, but this one's in better shape than the other one. Do I have it off hand over here? I do. Wow. What do you know? So there it is in good shape. Well, better shape. It's got some little flea bites on it. And this one's in pretty chipped up shape. Pretty cool, though. I like those two castings. I have to set those together. And we have an asphalt assault. Two of them, to be exact. Here's a green one. It's in decent shape. It should be a quick casting, because I know this other one is. Now I have two of them. This one I actually found while I was landscaping. One day at work we were digging a trench to fill in some gravel and stuff and it was kind of by a pond. And we dug up this guy. So it must have fell off their balcony because it was like right underneath their balcony. Their little deck. And I claimed it. Sorry kids. I'm sure you forgot about it. I see another old one down here. I'm going to grab that one up. This one is, it says 85 on there, Malaysia, with the Ultra Hots, but it's the Double Demon. And unfortunately, it's missing one of the demons. I don't know how that even could have got broke off there, just because he was hanging over a little bit more, probably. That's unfortunate, again, just display it like that, though. Definitely needs a new axle. And we're nearing 20 minutes, so I'll probably go a few more minutes and end this one, and do another 20 some minute part one. I'm trying to get through this, it would be amazed on how many cars are in this basket. Callaway C7. Another Hot Wheel car. What does it say on there? Chow time pretzels. <laughs> All right. Who doesn't like pretzels? I'm sure a lot of people. Oh, what else? A little off-brand. It's made in China, like a Humvee. Extremely light. Have him crawling up over something. Oh, uh, what are these? Just gotta grab a few of these. I see a couple of them in here. Just throwing around 
crushed cars. I know there's more than these in here, but here's one of those crushed cars you can get out of a monster truck set. Here's another one. So we need a stomper over here. Get him crawling over those. Here we go. Gonna have a mess to clean up on the table at the end of this one. <laughs> All right, what's next? Another truck of some sort. This one says Mega Duty, I believe. Yep, Mega Duty. This one is Hot Wheels. Pretty cool looking one. Have him climbing up the ramp back there. A little bit of an older one again here. This one's a custom 69 Chevy. Kind of bigger looking than the other 69 Chevy, like the one that was a treasure hunt recently. This one definitely seems to be a little bit bigger. I don't know if it's just the way I'm looking at it. Maybe it's just me, but it seems a little bit bigger than 164. But great purple and white interior. Need some new axles. A little bit rusty. Next we have two character cars, something I really don't collect. I found these at the thrift store somehow. Don't know how they ended up there, but uh, these are two Star Wars character cars. This one would be Slave 1, Boba Fett ship. Well, originally Jango Fett's, but then Boba Fett's in the later movies. Red Lines. Very cool. And this next one, I believe, is supposed to be a Tri-Fighter. Let me read what it says on here. It doesn't say, it just says Mattel. But check it out. It definitely looks like a TIE Fighter, but it has more of a Tri Fighter configuration. It's got the Imperial sticker on there, green lines. So those are cool. Two character cars, something to add to the collection. And then I'll probably go about three more minutes, so getting ready to run out of space as always. So what's up next? We have. This looks like a little bumper car. It's got a little antenna on the top there pretty cool digging through the uh, bin at the thrift store one day there was an older gentleman in front of me who was picking out the cars and I tried to be fast and get over there and after he walked away he had missed this one but he got a white and red one so I know there's more than one of those 2016 Camaro SS there's a cool one white and blue looks very good Here's a wacky looking version of the Twin Mill. What is going on here? So I guess it would actually go that way. If you know what the Twin Mill looks like. Man, that's weird. I always thought it would go that way. <laughs> wow. Here we have another Maisto. Steamroller. Oh gosh. I'm not going to do that again to save your guys' ears. That was bad. I'm just going to scoot him over there. Boy. All right, another Matchbox Volkswagen Type 181, 1974. Here's a green version, and here's a blue version. Pretty cool. Gotta love the variations. Set those aside. Scoot you back. There's a whole lot more to go through here, so I'm gonna try to get it in frame. This one is an ATV. I think that came out in a big pack as well. Matchbox. We go through a couple more here. 65 Ford Mustang Fastback. Kind of rough looking shape. Gives it some character though. What else do we need to go through here? Here's an off-brand Toyota Celica. Tiny little wheels on there. Jerry's making all sorts of squeaky noises here. And here's a pretty cool one. This one's a Land Rover. Part of the Biff Bang Boom series or something like that. I think that's what it was called. Pretty cool looking. And we'll go ahead and pick one more. Which one is going to be in the last part of this video? Oh, here's a cool one. I'm going to do this one right here. Mustang Cobra. Check that out. Big old wide body. Very cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed it.
It was a long video, a lot of cars, but it looks like we might be halfway through this bin, so stick around. I'll be doing another video. I'll be putting this one out real soon. The other one will probably come out shortly after that. So thank you for watching. Hope you guys are doing good, staying safe, and we will see you in the next video.